Uh, what up, y'all? Out here exercising the dogs this morning. Wanted to answer a couple questions that I've been getting. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Tell me big dogs can't move. But anyways, I've been getting a lot of questions. People have been asking me what gameness is. I've used that term in a couple of my videos. First and foremost, I want to say that my dogs that you see, most of my videos, these are American bullies. These dogs are not game. When I say the referred term game, I'm referring to the American Pit Bull Terrier. There are other breeds that are game. Huskies, Dogo Argentinos. Uh, when a Dogo is holding on to a massive boar and it's completely exhausted and it's been running and chasing that thing down for three, four miles and it's got a good grip on its nose and that fucking boar is getting up into his chest, cutting him up and banging him out, you know, hurting him. And that dog's holding on to a good nose grip or an ear. That dog, drop it! Drop it! He's got a nose grip or an ear. He's got to hold on to that shit when that fucking dude's coming up in there to dispatch him. Sit. And um, if that dog lets go, you know, that guy could get fucked off. Hey! And you got to understand that back in the days, you know, these dudes didn't have, you know, medical insurance or the fire department to come help them. If they were to get cut by a huge boar, they're going to be fucked off. Not only could they maybe die, but they're not going to be able to provide. And that's going to be their livelihood. You know, it's serious. So they had to have a quality dog that they could trust and that they knew was game and that was going to hold on. That dog's going to do what it was bred to do before, you know, it quits because of fatigue or weakness. Drop it! Be careful letting your dog play with these small balls like this. You know, they could swallow it at any time. I'm, I'm paying attention, so, you know, I'm letting him right now, but that's not smart, and I don't recommend that, especially if you're going to leave it with them or it's in the backyard or something. That's definitely not a good look. But um, anyways, back to what I was saying, Huskies as well, man. A Husky in the harness, the, a Diderot, they have tons of those races. And even before there was races, you know, these people were out there trying to hunt and gather. The dog would fucking die in the harness. They would rather pull and pull and do what they were supposed to do and die next to their pack and die in the harness pulling, you know, to make their owner proud than quitting and getting taken off the harness and riding on the sled. They had heart. Their feet would be cut up and bleeding and messed up, man. Bad from the, bad from the, um, sit. Their shit would be messed up bad from the um, frostbite. And they push, man. Quality bred dogs, they'll do what they were bred to do no matter what. Their body can be failing. Their mind is saying, quit, you know, I'm exhausted. But they will, you know, look past that and keep pushing. That is the definition of gameness. A, a bird, you know, thing. these terms have been used forever, for centuries literally centuries for birds for anything that would stick up for itself and fight and show heart man has been using that term gameness and a lot of the terms that were used in the dogs and the same you know terms that were used in the box are the same thing that they use for cockfighting you know there's just so much ignorance and fucking horrible information going on, on the internet like some dumbass that i thought was legit and i had watched a couple of his videos and i supported his shit fucking supported what he said about master of all bullshit you know he called him on his bullshit as well and i agreed with some of the stuff that he said but then the dude turns around and says that all bully breeders are rats and that fucking you know bullies don't have a standard for one that's fucking pure ignorance and fucking stupid as hell they all have a standard so like that's ridiculous do some people breed to the standard yes absolutely i do i breed my dogs to standard i have a vision my vision's never changed it never will my dogs have evolved and they'll look better and you know but i found bloods that i liked the traits come on now here i researched before I pulled the trigger and I got what I wanted. I love game dogs, they're an amazing dog for sure. They're the ultimate canine. But I love the way the American bully looks, a real American bully, not some washed up pet bull garbage mutt mix. I'm talking about a real quality bred American bully, you know, for five, six, seven generations that's not, you know, mixed with any bullshit. Obviously, when they were creating the breed, it's in its infancy. There were tons of different people mixing and matching. They were trying to create a specific look. They were trying to create something. But now that it's here, you know, I went to established lines to I knew what was actually bred in that. And I've been working it and tweaking it. I'm going to establish my own shit. I want them healthy. No, these aren't protection dogs. They weren't bred to do protection work. But I'll tell you what, right now, they are very capable of doing so. Don't get it twisted. I have dogs all over the world that are excelling in personal protection work. 
that have stable, good minds, that are, have full grips from a young dog. I mean, they're excelling. They're doing great. So to say it's fucking false and, you know, to say they can't do it, you're just fucking spewing lies and it's complete bullshit. Not all people that are breeding bullies are scumbags and rats. That's just your opinion and that's some complete bullshit. I don't even know what the dude's name is. And then he's trying to talk about, oh, well, Sables, Sables just happens because it just does. No, no every single color happens because of specific genes. Every specific gene on the specific locust, they come out for a reason. You don't just accidentally, he's like, I bred two red dogs and they produced a black and this and no shit. If the dog, if the parents carried that fucking gene, they can spit that puppy. Just like with tricolors, if you breed two carriers that carry the AT gene, you're going to produce, you know, 33% of the litter. I study color genetics. I know people that breed French Bulldogs and American Bulldogs, they also do that. Very few American Pit Bull Terrier breeders, you know, do that or even know about it or give a shit about color because that's not what they're breeding for. They're breeding for tenacity, gameness, mouth, drive. You know, they're breeding at agility, smart. Come on, drama, drop it. But anyways, I have a vision. My dogs can be used for an amazing pet laying on the couch with a family. Or if they want, you know, a more high drive litter and they're interested in doing some protection at work. I'm telling you right now with the right puppy that's stable, they could do it. Not every litter I have will be, you know, drivey enough to do so. And I acknowledge that. That's not only what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to produce fucking the next, you know, level working dog. I'm not trying to make my own hybrids. If I was going to fucking try to produce a working dog, I would use a Melanois, a quality Melanois and something. And I would make something a badass hybrid with a short tail, you know, that was, I would make something different, but that's a whole nother story. So many people have been asking me questions and I wish I could remember some more of them right now and let you guys know. Drop this can, you little shit. But yeah, drama mama and leave it. Drama Mama and Tiger, sit, boy. Hey, right, sit. Tiger, man. That's the difference between a 91-pound bitch. Lean, too. Look at that. No fat. No droopy slop. No fucking mastiff bullshit. She's got one. Leave it. She's got one of the bigger heads on my yard, too. God damn it. Leave it. Sit. Hey, sit. You're a good girl, but I'll tell you what, your name, Drama, fits you, you little shit. She's got a big meathead. She's off Sin City Bullies, Trump, and Barbie. Barbie is off of Bossy's Adios, one of the most famous dogs on the internet. Bossy's Adios and Bossy's Destiny is who produced Trump. And they bred Trump to Barbie, which was Pebbles and Juggernaut. For anybody that knows, Unstoppable Legion Pits, Ulps Juggernaut, an amazing dog. He's one. God damn it, Drama, look at her ass. Once again with the can. Leave it. You little shit. Come on, go. Go. But man, I appreciate you guys. Check out my other channel, J Rock Talks. I appreciate everyone. Most of you guys probably subscribed already over here or from my main channel. But check out my main channel. I discuss prison content, prison genre. I did time in AZ DOC in Arizona. I'm an AZ white boy. Grew up all over Arizona. I lived in Houston, Texas. I lived in Lincoln and Omaha, Nebraska. I lived in Fort, Fort, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. You know, I've experienced a lot of things, you know, and I'm just on here enjoying myself. You know, I'm no veterinarian, but I have a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge. I don't call myself a dog man because I grew up with a couple of fucking beagles and my grandpa had a dog. My grandfathers were real dog men from England, real dog men for generations of dog men that had game dogs, quality bred game, get out of the street, come on. Quality bred game dogs and I was taught a lot. My great grandfather horse had over 60 dogs on his yard at one time. So don't tell me fucking, oh, you ain't a dog, man. You breed bullies, motherfucker. You don't know how, what I've loaned. You know, I'm just so ignorant when people say that. Like my fucking grandpa bred dog dogos. I learned so much from him, so much shit. Like <laughs> I learned about chain setups. I learned about fucking veterinary care. I learned about fucking so much. 
and so, oh my god man i'm just gonna quit the whole venting but all these dog channels that are always just trying to talk about other people man let's make it about the dogs like straight up you got the dog channel everyone wants to see the dogs why just sit in front of the thing and record and talk about other people if you haven't seen their dogs and you haven't worked their dogs and you don't know anything about those dogs and how the fuck are you going to say, you know, they're not game or they're whack or they're, they're cursed? Come on, dog. Drama. Come on, baby. Yeah, big boy. Good boy. We were going to go out to South Mountain this morning. But instead of loading them up in the truck, we just walked over here. I was going to stay over there by the little doctor's office where it's all concrete so they could wear their nails down i walk my dog so often that i normally don't have to cut their nails but i'm going to do a video coming up to show you guys a lot of people don't know little tricks of the trade so i'm just going to try to help out but i appreciate you guys big 